Police in Utah County jump into action after a deputy came into contact with a suitcase suspected of carrying fentanyl. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jim Spiewak. And I'm Heidi Hatch. Jeremy Harris spoke with that deputy tonight, and he has that story. He's been down in Utah County figuring out exactly what happens when they found these drugs. Here's Jeremy Harris. I've been doing this job for 15 years now. Deputy Roger Lowe is hoping tonight is calmer than last night. It was definitely a, a scary moment, that, uh, the moment I realized what had happened. It was here near the 1600 North Interchange on I-15 in Orem. He stopped a car and spotted signs of drug use. He says he started to search the car and encountered a suitcase. The moment that uh, that dust hit my face, it was just like, oh no, things are about to get real. He was right, and almost immediately he began feeling the effects. It just intensified through my, my nasal passage, my face, my throat, uh, and then all of a sudden a lot of pressure on my chest, and, all, and then it just felt like my throat was starting to close off. Other deputies jumped in and administered Narcan to Deputy Lowe, and then took him to the hospital. I mean, without a doubt, they're, they're the ones that uh, were the heroes in this. While he was recovering from what he inhaled, other deputies turned their attention back to the car. These pictures show what police say they seized. Nearly 10 pounds of meth, Xanax, cathinin, and 5,000 pills of fentanyl marked to look like oxycodone. Fentanyl is potent and even a small dose can be fatal. It is that potency that has police nationwide concerned by the sheer amount of it that's being distributed. That shocked me and to hear that it was 5,000 pills of fentanyl was uh, even more just knowing how dangerous they are and, and uh, that it was headed right here for our community. The Utah County Sheriff's Office says the driver of that car was Tanya Mize of Springville. She is being held without bail in the Utah County Jail on multiple drug charges. And the deputy told us this is going to change the way that he thinks about these drugs during this stop. He says he was well trained, went through years of experience with drugs, and this even got him by surprise. Reporting live in Utah County, Jeremy Harris, KUTV 2 News.